Hi, these are the eggshells that I am going to use for the cold process egg soap making. First, we need water and dishwashing liquid to wash all these empty eggshells. After washing, I will sterilize all the eggshells. And I will add vinegar. Let's proceed to soap making. This is my lye solution. It contains 58 grams of caustic soda pearl and 70 grams of distilled water. This is my 400 grams of coconut oil. I am heating it up now. I am preparing now my salt solution. I will put 1 teaspoon of salt Then I will add distilled water to dissolve the salt 1 is to 3 Next, I will prepare citric acid solution 1 teaspoon of citric acid Dissolve it with distilled water, 1 is to 3. I also use potato starch for my soap making. I need 2 teaspoons of potato starch. Then I will add 2 tablespoons of olive oil to dissolve the potato starch. In order to maintain the fragrance of my soap, I add my fragrance or essential oil to the potato starch mixture. Then, I will mix it thoroughly to combine all the ingredients. I will use this nozzle bottle to easily transfer the soap butter into the eggshells. These are the eggshells that I am going to use for eggshell soap making. For natural colorant, I will use this mica pigment one teaspoon only then I will add some of my coconut oil to dissolve the mica pigment I will check the temperature of my oil. It should be equivalent to the temperature of my lye solution. I will add the lye water solution into the oil now. 
As you can see, I am using a fabric strainer to pour my lye and water solution so there will be no specks of lye ended up in my soap butter. And this fabric strainer is hand stitched by me. I bought this at the fabric store. Next, I will add the salt solution. Then I will use a stick blender to combine the mixture until it forms a soap butter. As you can see, it formed into a trace now. Now I am going to use a manual whisk so the soap butter will not harden too fast. Now I will add the soap colorant which is the mica pigment that I dispersed a while ago. Now I will add the mixture of potato starch, olive oil, and the essential oil. In the end, I add the citric acid solution. Now it's time to transfer the soap butter into this nozzle bottle. <laughs> 